Okay, YouTube, here we go. Um, Saved by Grace 777 I uh, did a video here. Jonathan Cleck commits blasphemy. And as usual, he's got his sex organs on the screen and he's talking about semen and everything else. You guys really need to hear this to believe what he's about to say. So stay tuned. Don't tune out. This is really important. Hopefully I can put this to rest with this video because I'm really tired of making these videos alright but um, so hang in there with me I, I try to make it as short as possible but uh, here we go take a listen now let me show you why the Lord God showed that to me why would the Lord God show his servants an altar that's a giant penis a giant vagina and sperms melting down the side of a penis that's made up of angels. Why would the Lord God show some of that? Because it's true. Because you're a freak. Ready? And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the earth. The word face means as the part that turns. Okay, of the face of the deep and the spirit of God it means Elohim. It is not the Lord God. The Spirit of God moved upon the face as the part that turns of the waters. You see the word semen right there? What do you think that altar's turning into? Oh, it's a bunch of Elohim, God's angels, magistrates, turning into semen. What do you think that altar is? The dude is a freak. I'm going to prove it. Hang on. Stay with me. Oh, that's why he showed it to me. So I can show this generation that all these churches that tell you that the word God in Genesis 1 is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is insanity. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? You got to listen to this again. One more time. That, that's just too unbelievable. Here we go. One more time. That all these churches that tell you that the word God in Genesis 1 is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is insanity. Would you like me to prove it? Oh, yeah. Prove it. Would you? Ready? Prove it. Prove it. Mm -hmm. And God said, let us make man in our image. Okay, no matter what, and I love you in Christ, but the next video I do, if you don't understand this, don't even watch the next video. It's torture, John, but somebody's got to do it, okay? Thank God we have people like, uh, you know, Save for Grace here, Saved by Grace 777 that's, that's helping out with this. But I really would like to see a lot more people get involved. But here we go. Don't even watch it if you don't understand this. There's no reason. <laughs> Translation. Don't don't even watch it if you won't buy into my BS. Okay. Sorry guys. I'm going. I've got to be very direct and very blunt. I'm a servant of the most high. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, I didn't ask for the job, but I got it. Mm. You know what? I'm faithful to it. Yeah. I don't care what others think. Mm -hmm. Why would it matter what other people that aren't converted think? Mm. What makes you think other people aren't converted? It's only your cult? Only, only uh, of all the billions of people on earth, what is there, like 8 billion now? And you got, what, 130,000 subscribers? So everybody else isn't converted? You're delusional. Here it comes. Converted, who's your daddy? Uh, the devil. That's why the Bible says, while you were yet my enemies, I saved you. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible says, you have received the spirit of adoption. Adoption means you had a different dad and a different mom. Because But you know, you also have to believe in Jesus. And the Jesus that you believe in is not the same Jesus that is mentioned right here in John 1. In the beginning was the Word. 
And the Word was with God, and the Word was what God. The same was in the beginning with God. So here we go. Here's the important point. And he was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made, and without him nothing was made that was made. Doesn't say angels. Doesn't say penises. Doesn't say sperm. Doesn't say you're a freak. You're actually pushing the Catholic doctrine by showing this and, and constantly showing it and showing it and showing it and showing it. It's, it's crazy. So we're going to do this online Hebrew interlinary Bible. Take a look at this. Genesis chapter 1. Okay. Genesis, Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. He used to say heavens, by the way. That's a Mandela effect thing. So, you know, I won't go there, but I can prove that. Um, and it says, And the earth was without form, and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. So, if you read the, read the actual Hebrew here, um, it says, in the beginning he, Elohim, which is another name for God, not exclusively angels. And I'm going to prove that to you in just a minute, too. Um, the heaven and the earth, and the earth, she, became chaos and vacancy and darkness over the faces of the abyss. Okay, so one says deep. Now I want you to notice something. Um, there's all these verses in the Bible that talks about who made the earth. Not angels. It doesn't say a thing about angels. I'm going to prove that to you in just a second. Um, Hebrews 10.11 here says, He also says in the beginning, Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens with the work of your hands. The work of your hands. Not angels. The work of your hands. Okay? Uh, Brian's study says, In the beginning, O Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth and the heavens are the work of your hands. Okay? Then there's other these, these cross-references that goes back to Genesis 1 here. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It doesn't say angels. It says God. And I'm going to break it down for you as far as who God is, because it's not exclusively angels. Remember, collect, cherry picks, Strong's concordance. Okay, here's another one, Psalms uh, 102, 25. In the beginning you laid the foundations of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Here's a good one, Isaiah 40, 12. Who has measured the water in the hollow of his hand and marked off the heavens with the span of his hand. So what's John saying? God has semen in his hand? Let's get back to what he's talking about here. When you're in the flesh, your daddy is Satan. Okay. He just said, when you're in the flesh, your daddy is Satan. Um, I'm in the flesh. You're still in the flesh. We haven't gotten our glorified bodies yet. When Jesus was walking around on earth, he was in the flesh. Okay? So, you got that little bit confused. Just saying. Now, let me show you. And God said, this is not the Trinity. Everyone goes to church. They tell you this is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And God said, let us make man in our image. Okay? What's the word for God? It's Elohim. God's. See the little word right here in pink? I'm going to make it bright blue. I'm going to make that little word bright blue. What does it say? Of the supreme God. I'm going to make that bright yellow. Of the supreme God. It is not the supreme God. 
and I'll prove it by using Isaiah 14. Gods that are of the supreme God, magistrates and angels, said, let us, that is not the Trinity. Anyone who thinks that the Trinity... You see that? He just twisted it all around. Total twisted it. Okay, let's bring up Strong's. If I can get it to come up. I got so many windows open. Okay, here we go one more time. Genesis 1. 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void and darkness upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Okay, so he says water is semen. Okay, so we're going to go to the Strong's number for that. Okay, here we are. Dual of the primi primitive noun, but used in a singular sense. The first thing it says is water. Figuratively, juice. By euphemism, urine. Semen. Piss. Wasting water. Coarse flood spring. So you notice what he's doing. He cherry picks any, there's a lot of options here, and he cherry picks what he wants to do, what, what kind of point he wants to make. I mean, if you, and if you do that, if you're so loose with the scriptures, you can pretty much make it say anything he wants. He completely throws John chapter 1 right out the window. When it flat said that Jesus Christ, the word that became flesh and dwelt among us, created everything that was created he's a liar he's a deceiver he's pushing a satanic doctrine all right getting back i'm closing with this talking about who god is using strong's elohim plural gods in the ordinary sense but specifically used in a plural thus especially with the article of the supreme god occasionally applied in a way of deference to magistrates sometimes as superlative and angels notice it says occasionally it doesn't say always it's not inclusively angels for god's sake look here it's it's um listed it's used 2601 times in the bible are you trying to tell me every time that this is used 2,601 times it all refers to angels? No, it doesn't. He's clearly cherry-picking the scriptures. No doubt about it. He's a freak. He's pushing a satanic doctrine. And what's weird is he's showing it to us and showing it to us and showing it to us. I mean, what is this? Like eight years going? No, he said 2002. 16 years going, 16 years, 17 years, he's been pushing this same thing. It's a form of brainwashing, folks. You know, you repeat it over and over and over again, and people just start accepting it. That's what he's doing. He's brainwashing you. Okay? With that, the video's already too long because you guys' attention, attention span is insanely low. I'm, I'm not trying to be insulting. But, you know, I could make a two-minute video and you only watch one minute of it. I could make a 20-minute video and you watch 10 minutes of it. But he'll make a three-hour video, repeat the same thing he's done for well over a decade, and you'll watch every bit of it. It, you know, I feel like I'm in a twilight zone. You Kleckites believe in hinge on every word he says. I'm telling you, he's leading you to the pit of hell. Okay? He's got you believing in another Jesus. Because the day that you believe in his Jesus is the day you don't believe in the real Jesus. Because he's saying that Satan created the world. Okay? Remember the video that he said? Uh, remember the skin, you know, the sin, the sin skin you're in or something of that nature? 
Now we're putting the heat on him. Now he's trying to say angels. And I'm sure he's talking about fallen angels at that because I've heard him say that before. But, you know, one video he's talking this, one minute video he's talking that. So I don't know if he's implying uh, fallen angels this in this particular video are, are God's good angels. But either way, angels aren't created beings. They don't create nothing. They can corrupt things like they did in Genesis 6 by interbreeding with human females. But they're not creator beings. Okay? With that, love you. Appreciate it. Hope you watch it. Hope you share it. I'm getting tired of doing this, but also I really fear people are going to burn in hell. So I, I feel like I'm kind of stuck. With that, take care. Again, God bless you. Bye now.